What's up, posers? I thought I'd do a uh, start doing some ranking videos for you guys just because I love them. And uh, I don't know. I just get into the whole ranking things. Just, uh, I don't know. But I'm going to start with a band that it seems like I never get enough of and, and has a lot of, uh, you know, back and forth. Uh, I like this. I hate that type of thing. So I'm going to start with the band Megadeth. Um, I, I never really get tired of Megadeth. I think they have put out better stuff than, oh, I don't know, Metallica. I know, I know. I went there, but... But I think it's true um, through the 90s up till today. Um, I've always loved Dave Mustaine's work. I've always loved all the guitar guitarists they've had. Um, so let's get into it. So most people start with the, uh, the worst and go to the best. I'm going to start with the best and go to the worst. And uh, I'm going to do all this off the top of my head, not pre-planned. So I'm going to have to really do some thinking on some of these. Number one. I'm gonna go with Rust in Peace as being the best, and it's just because there's nothing wrong with it. There's no flaws anywhere. The ideas, I think, to me, are just at the height of Dave Mustaine's creativity, and it was just a lot of off-the-wall stuff on there. Probably the drugs, but whatever. I don't, whether it was or wasn't, it was a great album. Number two, I think, um, I would have to go with Peace Self Who's Buying, because it's, it's got a lot of the, uh, a lot of crazy ideas on it, and uh, it's just freaking good. The, the riffs are awesome, the, uh, the intensity, uh, it's just, the, the, the guitar work, <laughs> it's just incredible, and uh, so I'll have to go with that. Number three, this is kind of tough, but I might have to go with uh, Killing Is My Business. Mainly because it's just so raw and so intense, and uh, you can really feel the anger of Dave Mustaine, you know, just being kicked out of Metallica, and uh, yeah, you can really feel, you know, the fury on that one. So I'll have to go. It's a short album, but it's a good album, a good raw album. Okay, number four, I will have to go with So Far So Good So What, just because. It is just, you know, it's got some of the best Megadeth songs on it. You know, I love Set the World Afire, Hook and Mouth. Uh, you know, it has the album starts off with a great intro. Uh, of course, it's got In My Darkest Hour. Uh, you know, it's kind of the black sheep of the, uh, of the old school Megadeth albums for whatever reason. But I think it's a really good album. I really do. Um, I always skip anarchy, anarchy in the UK because I just it's it doesn't fit with the rest of the the album to me. Uh, but anyway, moving on. The next one you would think I'd go with Countdown to Extinction, but I'm actually going to go with Euthanasia, and that's just because I, there's something about Euthanasia the way it flows. It just it's it might be a rock album, but it's such a freaking good one. It's just. There's really nothing on it that that's just awful. It's just it's just good. It just has a good vibe. It's something about I don't know what it is. It's good songwriting. Uh, next, I would have to go with Countdown, just because it's still a pretty heavy album and still shows off some of Dave Mustaine's creativity and good songwriting. Um, some of the songs I'll admit I'm a little tired of. If I hear uh, Sweating Bullets one more time, I'm going to punch somebody right in the jaw. <laughs> but other than that, I do think it's a really, really good album. Uh, next, um, hmm, this is getting hard. I'm actually not really too hard. I'm going to say Cryptic Writings. Believe it or not, I love Cryptic Writings. I know, I know, call me a poser. I love cryptic writings. Uh, I think the songwriting's really good. I mean, there's a few things on it that I don't, that I'm not crazy about, but I really do think the music is good. The guitar work is still good. It might be more of a sellout type of album, but it's, but it's well done. It's a lot better than like Load or Reload to me. Uh, at least there's some speed metal on it, and at least there's some metal in general on it. Uh, so, uh, so I give it that. And, uh, all right, so next, I would have to go with uh, Endgame, just because it is a thrash album, and a pretty good one. I mean, it's no Rust in Peace, 
but it's it's a good album. I mean, I just kind of wish Megadeth would do more things like this. I mean, if Dave Mustaine would do more of this, I would be ecstatic. I just put it that way. Next, I would say, now this is where it starts to get a little harder. Um, I might have to go with United Abominations. I wouldn't call it a great, great album, but it's still good. There's some self-plagiarism here and there, but it's at least it's got some pretty well-listable songs that are decently heavy. Uh, it's not bad. It's not a bad album. Not a great one, but not a bad one. Um, then next, I might have to go with Dystopia. Again, lots of self-plagiarism on there. But it's still, it's still good. It's still very listenable. Um, if you can get by with uh, some of the self-plagiarisms, it's, it's still got some good ideas on it. Uh, next, I would say... Boy, this starts to get really, really hard. Maybe 13. I actually think 13's a tad underrated. No, it's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. It's actually got some good stuff on it. Uh, but but there's some stuff on it that's like, well, we're, you know, it's like, it kind of goes directions that's like, eh, but there's some moments that aren't too bad. Um, next, I would say the system has failed. Now, the system has failed. Is got it's it's got a couple of really fantastic songs that almost sound like Rust and Peace quality, but but then the album just goes directions that I don't understand. Like it just it's like, do you want to be a thrash album or a rock album? I don't, I don't know what I don't know what the heck they were going for with that. But uh, so I'll, but it's okay. Um, next. Um, Boy, it's really getting down to nothing. I am going to say, yeah, the world needs a hero. Just because it does have a few decent tracks on it. I don't think the album's that great in its entirety. But it's got a few okay tracks. Uh, Return, like Return to Hangar is just no, not, it's an abomination compared to the original Hangar 18. So I don't know. But, okay, next, I, this is kind of crazy, but I am going to say Risk. Yes, I'm going to put Risk before Super Collider. At least Risk has some, uh, a little bit of different ideas on it that are kind of creative, whether you like it or not, and I don't like most of it, but at least it's, it's a little different. I don't know. Super Collider, I'm going to put last for sure, because... It's just not, I just don't like it. I can't help it. It's, it's either, it's cheesy or it's just not good. It's, <laughs> I don't know. I just can't get into it. Uh, the only song I remember somewhat liking off of it is Kingmaker. And, and it's not even that great of a song. It's just okay. But, uh, but yeah, there's my ranking for Megadeth. Um, yeah, I could pr pretty much say that's a pretty solid. You know, you know, I could probably fluctuate in my tastes here and there, but uh, I think that's fair. That, that feels about right. Well, all right. Well, smash that like button. I'll just be a douche and say that because everybody does. Or right, hit subscribe because I'm just kind of starting this out. But uh, I'll do some more videos like this in the future. Thanks. See you later.